here we go. We do have all gamers starting off on the Blacklist side. Let's see exactly how aggressive these two teams will get, how much respect is shown. A very important starting round as all gamers trying to peek into the center. And there's 180 covered by Black Dragon. Back up through as well. And Danimo and they come up. You just walk into the meat grinder and Black Dragons coming out insanely strong right of the gate. Maybe a bit of an underestimation from all gamers there. Yep, there were just way too many angles to check when there were 180 plus another member from the A entrance. Black Dragons, they had super quick backup against all five men of all gamers. I mean, just a perfect setup there from Black Dragons waiting for it. Gokin just lining wow. up shot after shot after getting extremely aggressive. And he gets out alive. That's in insane for a sniper to go that far alone and get two kills. And get out. And, and just, get out. Just like, yeah, well, I'm good. Makes it out alive. Could have traded his life down. Would have been perfectly happy. But instead keeps the... Ability to assist the rest of his team and all gamers. This is a completely different caliber of opponent that you played against yesterday. You need to respect that. And Black Dragons looking poised to take a 2-0 lead here. As all gamers push through double pillar. We'll be running into Adrian and Danimal soon. Mm -hmm. Adrian waiting at the bottom. Dynamal right next to him in the server, not really poking for any information. There's that smoke to delay the attack from all gamers. Don't really know they're all gathered up yet. Okay, trying to make their push on into the servers. Jale is going to pick up the first kill as Wolf will follow up. But the problem is that Dynamal's still down here in the servers. And it's only one, so that's going to be another quick round win here for the Black Dragons. As all gamers have not found the answer just yet. And it might take some more time. For now, Black Dragons, their backup speed is relatively so fast that all gamers can't even break through the wall. It's might have been Goken just starting off these rounds so strong that any play that all gamers make immediately marred by desperation and the knowledge that you're fighting such an uphill battle. Really hard to deal with that. Adrian right around the corner here. Fire in the hole. Let's and they spotted. Drag on him and now all of a sudden the road is open after a nice double. All game is pushing into server room. That nade into the door really threw the position off of the backup member and even got the first kill so all gamers their teamwork in this attack in was incredible. Fiana trying to make the most of a rough situation. He's trying to go in and he does get one, but now it's all up to Goken, who is 1v4 with the bomb down on B. This is basically a, you know, 0% chance at this point in time, but let's see what Goken can do. As you know, he knows where they might be around the corners. But now, unfortunately, with that shot, he has given up his position. <laughs> well, you just have to come in. Oh, still gets Jelway off the side box. Gets two. No. A few more pistol kills, but ZY was actually down in the server from the side. That will be the kill to clean up. Finally, all gamers getting, getting a round from the blacklist side, and that's all they needed. First two rounds was a slight, little bit of a throw just to check where the opponents are. And then they work their way into B. Taking it a little bit slower. Nice nade. It's Joe right there. Goken now the one who is sitting off to the side there with the sniper rifle. We also see Fiana there for some additional backup. Not keeping a lot of control of that center passage, although we do see ability to rotate over there fairly quickly. Might be making his way over as now all game is moving towards that middle and we saw in the last map, last game, how quickly teams can 
push in there and find pressure, but there needs to be a little bit of space, and thus far, with Black Dragon still having all their members, there's not that much space available. Then we'll fire a couple of warning shots. Not finding anyone, though. Mm -hmm. All gamers, they've broken is easily enough to be site, but this time Black Dragon's ready, and they know at, that, at this level, the exact same attack might just not work twice as uh, Black Dragon's position is perfectly to go against those entering Black Dragon. Flashing in a rushing in with the damage to get the first, but the Animal strikes back. This is good defense from the Animal so far. He's in the takedown too, and now Adrian and the rotation will come in from the less aggressive Black Dragons, but Wolf with the point blank shot. Looking for one. He's got ZQ on the backup, which is helping a lot. And actually, Adrian is going to try to reset this fight after he will get out. Adrian on top, trying to save the team. 30 seconds left on the clock. C4 about to get planted, but there's some time around. Ooh, they're just going to toss it away and make sure that Wolf is going to plant instead. Very low health bar. Adrian on, not impossible. Makes it around to the side, but ZQ finds him, and it's the duo, ZQ and Wolf. Drawing back to score two to two, and the Black Dragons coming out so strong initially. Looks like all gamers, as you pointed out, Jikov, just needed a little bit of time, just needed to get settled. Now that they are looking like a completely different team here. Mm -hmm. Few rounds in a row for all gamers. One B straight in and from the center A side. So Black Dragons now pushing slightly out. They're still trying the same to, to B entrance 180 spot with Goken and Vienna there because that was not spotted in the previous round. And basically leaving center open. Trusting Adrian that if he can actually hear anything coming in from the center plaza. Alright, push coming on in now. Go is there. On the angle, you see Viana holding the door. He's doing a pretty good job of that so far. And it doesn't look like all gamers want to give up with this push just yet. Trying to make their way in. Viana still trying to hold this door. As poking in bit by bit is Xiaowei. He's not really able to find too much. Finally, ZY gets something. He's going to get a second kill now on the Goken as he pushes out at the perfect timing there. Now, possible opening. Adrian We will get found and oh my lord. All gamers. Beautiful attack coming through here. Now taking control. And we've already seen time and time again how hard it is to take control of that server room once the bomb has been planted at B. Wolf getting into a firefight, trying to get it. Actually takes down Danimo as well, as if the situation wasn't hard enough for Black Dragons and looking like three rounds in a row. Action will pick up Wolf. Still has to deal with three more members. And you said it earlier, Valdez, actually getting back here is almost impossible. Mm -hmm. I think you just go. You just do not want to go in there. You don't know what's going to happen. This is the only entrance from the side. <laughs> and this is the, the most common. All as Black Dragons want to avoid that. The easy preemptive pause as we go into the sixth round. Yeah. Yeah, now that's been used up. All gamers, they still have their tactical pause. Let's see if that was good enough for Black Dragons to win. A few more rounds. Diana's angry. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's not, uh, it's not yeah. feeling like enough. Jawe going to finish off that fight with the extra kill. Yeah, with three, three on two now. Yeah, with three man double pillars, the B side basically has to be open. That's why we see Jawe running in. Maybe one from the entrance, so a sniper. Smoke coming through, and Goken tries to desperately get on the point, but not able to. Still stuck outside. Big opportunity for the plant now here for all gamers, and even with the tactic balls, this one feels like a rerun of the previous one. Action gets taken down. Goken very, very low already. Three men alive, 
Don't even drop another one. All gamers four in a row now after the first two going over to Black Dragons. And that's the statement you want to make as all gamers. You can't take the wind out of our sails. We're just going to defeat you in a straight up firefight in the double pillars. Yeah, come challenge us. We're going to win anyway. After you've had time to discuss. As let's see how it goes this time though for Black Dragons. Viana gets the snipe once again, but it's not a follow-up committal from all gamers. So gonna take this a little bit slower. This time the pressure rotation into the double pillar works slightly better. They managed to escape the room without any casualty from the Black Dragon side. And instead all gamers, ooh, that peak was incredible by Oh, time for the self-exploration with aggression. Not quite working out. Just Jiao Wei and with his health bar, seemingly very unlikely. Action will be able to pick that one up and watching it around. Black Dragons holding the momentum that we saw coming out from all gamers. Mm -hmm. And not just a read. Black Dragons, after getting that B, B attack, they had a really good read that it will be a central plaza push into A. So they were ready from multiple angles, had three right next to the A site. Getting those angled covered even next to Goken. Few more rifles. So all gamers this time was caught with that action. Taking a bit of a different angle into the double pillars this mm -hmm. time. And they will get it. You'll note that Black Dragons, four members over on A long. And all mm. gamers, this isn't a map where you can say, oh, they're not in pillars, we can just rush in, so. Mm -hmm. It is something you can uh, get some news on there. As you can see now, Goken, he will call. Hey, they are thinking about pushing into B now. Maybe we want to rotate back. Yeah. But even after the call, they were all the way out in A long. Three members and four members in A. So the rotation is taking some time. But because of the pressure and the moments they had against AG, Against Black Dragons in B, entrance is taking a long time, but here we go, finally in the entrance. One train to the server. So Wolf still holding the center there, and that was crucial. Danimo and Viana not really free to make that rotation over. Wolf sitting in the nest, able to hold down the central passage very, very well. And now, what is this? Fourth round in a row, at least when it works out for our gamers, it is always through a successful push. Do see the animal coming in from the flank, but right now ZQ holding that angle down. Mm -hmm, that's exactly what Black Dragon needs. Since they do have the animal coming from the back. Ellie from the double pillar side. This might be a different story as he jumps, gets oh. down. They got the great flash in there and still they weren't able to win that fight. The honest gotta go 1v2, not gonna happen. It's now 5-3 to three in favor of all gamers. We know these Chinese teams, they're very good on the blacklist side. Curious to see how it will go after the swap. And what is the score going to be as we enter this final round of the half? Oh, smoked all four. And also the damage went in. Another fire by B1 by Black Dragons. Hard. Quite remarkable. Hitting four people with the nade there, but it's not enough. As we do see, Fire 5 being one, and now anticipating another play on those pillars. Tidy of Black Dragons heading that way. Mm -hmm. Central passage open for now. So we slowly see all gamers push on through. I think Black Dragons expected few of all gamers left, even and ZQ who potentially have walked along a long old way or even through the double pillars into B side, which we're just we're actually just having a merry-go-around rotation right now. That is the official term, of course. You merry-go-round your way over here. As you're trying to peek in, you see that action. It's gonna spot where they are and immediately Black Dragons, everybody's being called over towards A at this point in time. And it looks like they probably get this plant down. It seems like a bunch of damage was actually done to the Black Dragons members. Mm -hmm. This grenade there as they're just clearing out every angle. Yes. But actually Black Dragons are taking their time with re-entering. 
And they're fine with the plan. It is 2v4. And all gamers, they still needed some more time to clear out a long. They came from the came from center plaza. So just in case because they're outnumbered. Fire in the hole. So now, so some time left on the clock. It's a huge amount of people that Black Dragons have. Gets taken down though. He is low but still alive to fight another day. Oh, this is quick. Oh, the quick. He loses that duel. Very nice. They get down more, and there we go. Goken finds even. He was way too low. Five to four. Very, very close. Despite the early pull ahead from all gamers. Black Dragon definitely still plenty of room to get back into this game as they move on to Blacklist. Yeah, pretty nice to see. We did have a blowout before this matchup, but we were definitely expecting all gamers versus Black Dragons to be a close one. And so far, to start off compound, it has not disappointed. Five to four. I think that all gamers have been slightly more dominant. Obviously, you can see that in the score, but even in the way that they are winning, it does feel like they have the slight edge in this one. We'll see if Black Dragons can uh, get a bit more work done here as they move over to the Blacklist side. Just like all gamers did, Black Dragon's gonna go very hard in and double pillar push here. Gamers are somewhat ready. They're trying to set up possible trap, but looks like Black Dragon's decided better of it. Not wanting to take that risk and looking to play it a little bit slower. He needs to take so many risks. Yeah, right off the get-go in the blacklist round. Mm -hmm. Even right there, even having the fake smoke. And there's not any more member just himself in that field. It's just going to be action, checking for information. And the rest of the Black Dragons member pushing through the plaza. Flashes, no good since no one actually actively defending out in the plaza for AG. Was covered, and here comes even. This guy is kind of insane, as you can already tell. A couple of headshots lined up there at the perfect angle on the stairs of B. It's going to take a lot of power out of this. Adrian will follow up, but unfortunately, Black Dragons are running out of members. 4v2 in favor of all gamers. At least Dan Danimel actually went into a long found wolf and with no defense. With no one else to cover himself up at the bottom. Problem is, they still need to make the trip all the way to B Passage to pick up that C4. And there we go. He comes through, not even going to get the opportunity. As ZY and ZQ take down the last remaining members of Black Dragon 6 to 4 now. Even on global risk, all game is able to get the back hand. Yeah, Black Dragon's really pushing the lines, but all gamers still being retrieved so much. That Plaza push worked out okay, but it's not that all gamer actually had no one around the Plaza. They were in the A site, deep into B site, leaving that Plaza open. Curious to see how this is going to develop from here as all gamers took a pretty uh, dominant round that time around. And you can see that Black Dragons, you know, they're gonna have to try to switch up their strategy. They went for that mid to B push with a lot of flashes. Now they're trying to open it up on A long and on this A entrance. But looks like all gamers is pretty ready for this. We have Wolf in position. We have backup here as well. Sitting peachy for now. But as you're saying, well, there's plenty of people there for and waiting and see why catches action there with a really nice flank wraparound working out well. C4 now needs to get picked up and they still need to actually make their way onto a site. Might be looking to rotate through pillars towards B, but it is already locked down. It's a dangerous zone knowing even this the area. This time AG is ready. And T.Y. just shoots out the double pillar with that win that duel alone. That ball again going to uh, peek in from A long. 
Just CQ spotting him out because they know that a few other members of Black Dragons are in Plaza. Joey getting pretty aggressive pushing out there as now the clamp down trying to come in here from Black Dragons, but all gamers just holding the angle, winning the fights here as Danimal will be able to push out, but immediately is followed up with a kill from ZY. So two rounds in a row now on the global risk side to all gamers. They are beginning to take off. And only had about 15 seconds left, so they knew that he had to come to the site with the C4. You know, all gamers this time. Aggressive approach into the double pillars. Uh, Black Dragons, they had no one in. Luckily enough, only have action covering from their own base and just small rotations from the pipe entrance. ZY ready to big hero of that round, able to find first the 1v1 and another shot down that position so expertly. JY able to pick a one, but then Goken coming in with the backup, avenging his teammates. Creates a little bit of space, but with the C4 still there. Black Dragons have been playing these blacklist turns very, very slowly, methodically, but what a all gamer says. CY picks up another kill. This man is on fire here. <laughs> You know, we started off with even getting a couple of kills, and I thought it was going to be his moment to shine. And then ZY was like, I will not be outdone. Mm -hmm. Six kills, six headshots, by the way. And he has position on the bomb as well. So he's kind of so single-handedly held one side of the map. I think he just passed it. Yep. Not knowing that the bomb was dropped down there. Hmm. <laughs> The timing was just unfortunate, going back and forth. He was going to be covered by either teammate of Black Dragon there. Verdict did buy his team a lot of time, and now box ticking for Black Dragons. They need to make their way over to one of the sides. And the ready picks up one, damages the other. And now it's just Goken alone. All the teammates are down. And Goken also falls 8 to 4. The magic of the tactical pulse this time not really coming in for Black Dragons here. Certainly not, as the second half Black Dragons there. Offensive powers are being lost everywhere around the map, especially when they challenge their all gamers into double pillars. I think it's just better to just leave that side open. Just cut one of your options and look for the other pushes. They have not been really pushing in, even into that A room. Only Danimal just pushing into a long when there whenever there was a B push. Zy's here again, and they thought they could push into him. They are going to take him out. Actually, Goken gets a couple of kills, and this will go in favor of the Black Dragon. So they decide, okay, we've got to get rid of this thorn in our sides. Let's just pull it out forcefully, mm -hmm. and they do just that. At least Goken's covering up for his teammate immediately after the kill. Last pull, yes. pillar kill. Action on the side. Oh, Wolf picks up another real pay with his own life as redemption comes through. And now it is just up to ZQ and Jerry to hold on here. And yet again, these pillar holds from all gamers have just been incredible this time around. Are trading unfavorably though, so might be a little bit harder, but a long pushing into a ZQ. Waiting with a sniper, never going to be a fun experience. Yeah, all gamers setting up these mm. double snipers. They've done this before, and it definitely works out for them. Goken, though, seems pretty Ooh. hot this time around, at least in this round. And he's been able to pick up a bunch of kills to help shore this up. So now it's up to Jiawe to try to get on over to the A site and win the 1v3. Yep, any long plant? It is, it is it is incredibly hard, especially with these grenade damage chipping in. Nicely done. That sets him up. Animal knocks him down. Easy round coming through for Black Dragons. A much needed one. Putting AG on map point this early on. Finally gets one. And in a second. Uh, this is what they needed. Certainly opening up towards A long. Of course, it was a later push, but. Changing up their path certainly is working against AG. But 
They still want to get this double pillow pressure off by the gamers, 100%. Using a lot of utilities. This is, the, this is the amount of stress that they actually had in this room. Trying to release that with the push. Vision. A lot of spraying. Extra damage done. There. Won't be able to spot him out. Last of all, Vienna holding this door this way. Works out well. Enforcements are on the way. A lot of spraying, but neither. Yeah, this is the frustrating part. You can't really go in. You know there are two, but you just can't go in because the moment you peek out, you're going to be dead. Oh, well, speaking of which, wow. CY has another uh, answer to that question. And now Action's going to get hit on the off angle, even nicely red in that situation. And now 4-2, to two, all gamers looking to hit that goal number nine. Jawe picks up another coin as well. Goken, it's him in a dream. We've seen this before. Sniper's coming in late, trying to make it happen alone. Mm -hmm. At least he is surviving and carrying the team with the numbers. But against three, less than 50 seconds, we don't AWM. So what you're saying is there's a chance, G-Clef. There's low chance. No, 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 no. <laughs> but you're, say you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> no, he said there was a low chance, actually. <laughs> Certainly, and he's shooting a well, long. I'm sorry for <laughs> trying to have <laughs> okay. fun, Vel. Okay, I'm to trying raise to be optimistic. I'm trying to at least 7 to 8%. 7 to 8%. A long plant will be one of the best. Surely, at this point, they're suspecting that this is going on. Mm -hmm. There we go. Wolf. Oh, but Wolf coming around oh. the corner at the perfect timing. There was only 10 seconds left, so not... Yeah, the chances were going down for Goken, even if he was shooting really well. well. This one is looking like a done deal. Let's see if Black Dragons can win four in a row. Or will we be moving on to Ankara for our second map? It's really the only question to be answered at this point in time. ZY, he's getting aggressive now. He's like, I don't have to only play in the pillars. I can go mid to pillars, <laughs> but nobody over here is. Uh, There's different ways. Yeah. Okay. Different angles to attack the pillars, but Black Dragons are just they're just gonna play it slow over at the pipe entrance. Trying to take control of Central Passage, should be able to do so. No forward defense coming through, as all gamers again they are comfortable. They are not feeling pressured whatsoever. And we'll be just fine holding off. It's still two people defending. And along. Looks like ZQ might be rotating over as an aggressive push comes through towards B. That global risk spawn. It's still waiting there. Hasn't been spotted yet. That's one. Here. Another one. Wolf gets on the kill as well. And they will go down. Mm -hmm. At least they break into B and also gets Wolf coming from the double pillars. Makes it even. 2 2. Kind of swap signs. Jowie takes a bit of damage through the box there, even a nice little grenade. And now they're going to be able to get this bomb down because of that smoke. So now this is going to be up to ZQ and Jowie to find a way into a rough entry, especially with Goken looking right down the sights. They know that both players are over there. Yeah, but ZQ Jowie has no utility whatsoever. No flash, no smoke. So they just have to body it. Oh. To sneak in. Playing against two, though. Has to jump down. A little bit of time left on the clock. It's one. Black Dragons keep themselves in this game. Six to nine. Still, three opportunities for all gamers to take this one down. Nicely played by Black Dragons, though. They're able to keep their dreams of winning this map. Mm -hmm. That B push. And again, all, all gamers. Having that same two-man defense in the B entrance room. Right in front because this buys a lot of time and also kills a lot of utility from the other side. And this is far out enough so they can actually have three men right in A side. This might actually not wait that much time this time since they've been using a lot of time in the previous round. They almost ran out of, ran out of time. So action wow. that actually goes down first. That's a good way to start. Very aggressively. 
Adrian doesn't want to let it happen. Even a little bit more patient. At this choke point from the blacklist is incredibly hard. They're just trying to force it here. Wasn't much luck because, I mean, there were three members of AG over there as well. So let's see how this one is going to go now. Black Dragons, they got to push in here 2v4. Make that 1v4. Wolf has been holding down a long the is entire it? map. Final member, Goken again with the C4. He's alone. No space left for Black Dragons anymore. Yeah, not enough time to rotate into A long. Only 40 seconds. If he can, if he rushes, he it's possible. But against four, you are going to be running against a few. No chance at a quick scope there, and that's going to be the first map going into the hands of our Chinese team, all gamers, as they're able to take it six or rather ten to six. You can see that Black Dragons put up a pretty good fight even at the half, but all gamers, they were the dominant team by the end. Actually, really clean global risk side. Gotta give them credit. And off we go. Looks like all gamers will be here on the blacklist side once again. And let's see how it works here on Ankara. Ankara, a map that we see all the time. Has been a little bit though today. We didn't see it in the uh, in the second and third matches at least. So we get back onto it here. They have the Black Dragons are strong on, and it will be interesting to see if they can be defeated here. Indeed, especially their eight top defense, one of the best, not just in the region, in their internationals many times. Two to left already down the stairs. They can't really go force them into a top. Two in the passage, take some damage from the nade. Not all gamers knowing that they have still have so much time. Going to challenge a little bit, waiting for even to come strike from the back of the passage. Oh, it's some it more out. time. And now the flank coming through. Might catch Goken of God, the smoke. Oh man. Dissipating, will he see them? Goken now spotted, but also has the angle, gets the shot. Takes down even. And that was the gambit, that was the play that was supposed to work out. Now it's just CQ. By himself last time, Black Dragons won the first two rounds rather handily. Starting to feel like that pattern might repeat itself here if they are not careful. Mm -hmm. As rough round here. Yeah, if he even rotated just slightly faster into that A passage, even half a second faster, I think he had the chance to shoot into the air duct or even into Goken, who was off to the stair side. Ooh. It's the old switcheroo. Mm -hmm. It's continuing to push into the air duct with the C4. Now 30 seconds left on the clock and Black Dragons are measuring this as a B plant. Yeah. As you can plant that B no. stair. <laughs> no. Most important thing is that you stick together. It was good that actually they didn't move out of A to try to find ZQ because, you know, one guy gets picked off and ZQ has cover and you're, you're immediately in a 1v1 situation. But now you're like, okay, well, we know his general vicinity because he just planted A. So let's move in together and try to 2v1 him. Definitely an opportunity. And that's ZQ, you have no info. Know that they might be, must be rushing in at this point, going down the stairs again. And there comes the defuse. I don't know if he's going to be in time. Raven first doesn't even get that done. Goken secured by his teammate. And able to pick up that first round, just like last time. Nicely done. Good stuff there from the Black Dragons. Kind of holding on to that A top. And it was a really sneaky move to come all the way around there from even and try to get the flank, but Goken, was, he had that sixth sense that we see sometimes from these Crossfire gamers. And he was able to land the shot as well. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you feel. Okay, the other guy went back, and it took a long enough time. I should look, turn around and see what's going on from on, on my back. And that was a perfect timing for Goken to yeah, look, at, look to the side on their own passage. And Black Dragons... Keeping the lead for now, and a good start for GR side. And after that big A side attack, 
Expecting a huge push on B side. All gathered up near the boxes. It's only Viana holding uh, them off by himself. Entirety of Black Dragons besides that is waiting for a push that might never come to fruition as they move. <laughs> spotted, picks up one. Able to make his way out as well, it looks like. Chewei going in, taking a little bit of damage, and the plan does now come through. Five people still available, so you know as all gamers you need to copy every single angle. Adrian and Danimal looking to go for the long wraparound all the way through the passage into quarters. And up being held by Wolf here. Danimal, Adrian coming all the way from the quarters. They have a lot of flash, so they can flash the top, but most of them are actually near the stairs at the bottom. They need to get in there, though. They need to get these kills all down and get the defuse. As ZQ's buying so much time, defuse comes in, and the shot is not there, so the defuse will work at 0.4 seconds. Extremely well handled there by the Black Dragons. As they win the first couple of rounds very handily, Again, we saw that on compound as well. I'm just loving the timing of that. Everyone going in exactly the same time. I just took the tail and sees Gogan picks up another kill. Wolf is chasing. The Gogan already run away, hiding in the mist. Not going to be able to take him down. And uh, unfortunately for all gamers, again, starting from what is basically a deficit here. And this time a much more even spread by Black Dragon is going to be much harder to actually push onto either of these sides. Mm -hmm. Wolf was expecting Goken to come into those angles because it was exactly at that timing where you are still peeking into the yard because all the all gamers had no idea about no information from the office side so they had to get one back. Aggressive maneuver here through the air ducts as Dan Hall has a great spot, but it's not good enough. He just gets swarmed through the gate of A. As now, they're going to be able to push on to this one. And Black Dragons looking for another retake. They got three guys back there towards the spawn. As all gamers going to take their time with the plant. Last time, though, they had a lot more members. Two extra members you can come from more angles this time around. It's a lot more limited in the approach that you possibly have available. Mm -hmm. Action already making his way there. Now walking onto the side. Oh. Find a couple of pot shots, but CQ finds him through the wall. And that might be the end of this push. And all games looking to repeat the events of the first map. Yeah, and this flash is the only utility left. Everything else, they have to rely on their rifles. And Goken's AWM goes back to right. But even is off to the side box. And that aim did not come fast enough. So all gamers this time getting their first round of the map. Yeah, I'm just laughing because I, I, I'm just imagining Black Dragons immediately calling a tactical pause. <laughs> Already? <laughs> not yet. Because it's just like the first map, right? And they called it even faster. Um, in the first map compared to yesterday, so I'm like, maybe they're going to go even faster. They just don't want to let all gamers get any momentum at all. Mm -hmm. if, if this goes to 2-2, two, two, I would not be surprised to actually see him do <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, a few rounds in a row for all gamers, I think that's the momentum that they want to cut. Oh, oh, staying oh. aggressive in the connector was cut. All three members going down. It's time for the card. <laughs> Feeling a card. <laughs> uh, as we do see action making his way over. Will get spotted. Does take down oh. Joey with a lot of health being made to go. And that's easy, easy cleanup coming through. Looking like another. <laughs> as Adrian will have the easy shot there. And coming down off from Adrian. Good plan will come in. Let's see what Adrian can do. He's been having a pretty nice uh, map here so far mm -hmm. after not doing too much on compound. Back on M4, smoke was just out a couple seconds ago, but so he might actually have to wait so long or go through the smoke. Time's taking less than 20 seconds now. And the spray's coming from all three members. Can't go through that. Now that's two rounds in a row for all gamers. No tactical pause yet. <laughs> you gotta wait to the third one. Now we know. That's uh, that's uh, that's the angle you're looking for. And starting to feel really reminiscent of the first map. Now if all games can string together a couple more 
And we will just have an effective repeat this time, though. Different strategy all going towards that B side. I don't think that Black Dragon's really is feeling ready for this. Mm -hmm. And unluckily, they have no one at B side. No one even going into office, keeping that B long. Instead, oh, wow. Goken get picked off. It's the perfect timing, right? Goken's not looking. And yes, they have Viana up here, but he's already taken so much damage. And the bomb is planted with smoke in position. All gamers just really swift on the push, and they get that immediate timing from Goken as well. And no one actually near the plant, actually around the back of the B. And it's also Zhao Wei around the corner. At least they got this kill, opening up a lot more angles now. That's something, but problem is the time. There's so little time. You need to push into multiple people, all full health. Just not enough that you can do. Adrian gets taken down. As he even finds the kill. Vienna goes and with that. Looking like, again, literally the same as the first two rounds for Black Dragons. And then all gamers really get going. And they keep on going. No card. <laughs> no no card. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's rough because it didn't work last time. I mean, That's I, true. I, I guess it kind of I'm not did. criticizing. I am yeah. surprised. It's just at, at some point, you, as Black Dragons, you gotta you gotta realize that okay, we just gotta play better. And all gamers, they are just really on the incredible level right now because Black Dragons, I mean, one of the best teams in the world. And so far, all gamers have been giving them a lesson, and it has not been a pretty one. Taking it a little bit slower this time around, though. As mm -hmm. Black Dragons have once again stacked top of A. Yeah, Anka Ankara 3 to 2, Blacklist winning is already a pretty good score against a, such a strong opponent, Black Dragons, and they want to keep this momentum on going. Having the same smoke just like before, and then moving out in different order is tricking Black Dragons that we can strike anywhere. And it might actually be a similar type of attack again. Because after that fake, Black Dragons scattered all of their troop towards A site. And now, similar situation to the previous round. This time, though, Adrian is waiting. They do have someone on B, which should help them to at least pick off someone. But if all games go in confidently, we, they might at the very least find a counter kill and get that plant. And then Black Dragon is going to be forced to rotate again all from across the map. Goken is relatively close by. Mm -hmm. Adrian has to cover both angles, so it's going to be about the timing. Do you see some flash towards A, which is a big fake. Adrian was cut off. He is quite cut off now, but he's got Goken actually in the back side. That's a nice quick scope. Going to give them a really nice chance here. But Wolf is able to snipe down Goken. So all of a sudden, it makes this into an even battle. As Black Dragons and Tibiana trying to spray through the smoke. They get in as fast as possible. They're not covering from office. Scotty Ball was able to pick off Wolf. That was a big problem, but still was able to get that wall headshot in. So Danimal goes down. B-Long is open, and it is a B-Long plant. So Viana has to work this one out fast enough so he gets all two. Every time, really nicely done. There's just not enough time for Black Dragon. Yeah, it's get a little bit more confidence, start to feel like you're reading your opponent well, and then following that up, your shots will ring true. And that is something that the Black Dragons desperately need with how it's been going thus far, because all gamers, yes, they win some of the Fireflies, but most of all, as oh, more Wolf able to hit the shot there. Wolf almost found that video without the flash. Ooh. Vienna able to get a kill and escape the massive. And now again. Two for one trade, really well done. Also, know that Goken is still in the general vicinity there, and that is two men keeping pressure here on A side. It is actually the C4 that is all the way across the map, pulled by Even. And looking like, again, if they go in here, everyone from Black Dragons rotated towards B. Mm -hmm. I think they want to leave that A side open this time intentionally so they can jump on top of them since it was only basically Vienna who used a lot of utility on his own so the rest of the members have a lot of flash and smokes left to cover a site back if the, there is a bomb planted at a site and also also Goken available so they're less worried about the B site entrance entry Ooh. He 
guys with his little eye, his EQ. Not sure where he is, but the guy picks it up very nicely done by Adrian now stopping an air duct is ZY. He will follow shortly. And now it's even alone in the world. Not likely to continue much longer as Goken takes him down. Tactical pause magic comes through. All gamers decide, well, you don't need that magic just yet. But this time around, Black Dragons are actually able to take that win into the pause. So good stuff there. I, I kind of like the aggression that Viana showed. And hey, look at this. Another pick off Goken onto Jiawei. So it's going to give them an even better shot here to keep it even at least before the half. Mm -hmm. Their specialty, even with a different roster, their color stays the same. The sniper pokes from GR. Oh. Scenario, and if Yana goes down here as well, we'll go down eventually. Took a little bit more time. Now E side or the A side rather taken. And again, free versus free. Last time this worked out very well for all gamers. It was only when they had five people available that Black Dragons were able to effectively retake the site. Oh, no! That's one. And that is looking like a dominant Z win all gamers. Go! Yeah, you get one win of the tactical pause, but then the next one, you got to start working for it again. And all games were just a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. Final round, the first half has all the heroes. Team, uh, they're not rushing through like the other three were against the other team, but this is... Okay, quarter push from Black Dragon is basically all in, except for really Adrian here. And you know what? It's going to work really well. The flash was real good. Flash, yeah. flash. There you go. Five to four. <laughs> they make it quick, and you know, I mean, maybe that's what they need. A little bit of fire underneath them before the half. You get a little break here as well to discuss a little bit more. And Black Dragons, you know, of course, if you're on Ankara, Blacklist, all gamers did get five rounds out of nine. That is, they're still in a great spot, but, you know, personally, I'm hoping, hoping this isn't uh, a 2-0. Um, just because this action has been so great, but at the same time, it does feel like all gamers still in a pretty good spot, especially with how good their global risk side did look. Yeah, also, I do want to see both, ma both teams on Black Widow for the first time. That's going to be a good one if we go to the third map. Would be a first thus far at CFS 2021. Haven't been able to feast our eyes on that map as of yet. Now, last time, we were all pleasantly surprised by how well all gamers played on this GR side. Wondering whether you're going to be able to repeat that here on Ankara or whether that is going to, or, uh, yeah, Ankara, or whether that is going to be a little bit harder. It's thus far, looking like a little bit of poking coming down here from b but not actually wanting to go further. Mm -hmm. Here, Dynamo already getting some controls off to to the connector side near the bridge. Staircase rather, B bottom push. See why he's ready on top, but he's alone. Let's go up against both commanders. That's one. That's Adrian. Easy wise missing as well. Now starting to fall apart here. We'll be able to get it done, but still three members available. Health bars are relatively low. As all game is already on the side at the ready. Needed action, still able to salvage. Look at that! What a play coming through from JY, and that allows them to again. Yeah, no, he's still. He's not impressed whatsoever. The rest of his team. Like, I do that all the time. Like, yeah. Why are you guys so? <laughs> guys, stop are you shouting. shouting? Uh -huh. Isn't that expected? Normal. Yeah. You should shout if I don't do that. Um, yeah, I mean that was kind of a crazy shot. It was also because it was the few last remaining bullets on his magazine. Mm -hmm. And an important wrap to start off the second half. Let's see how aggressive they want to get right into their faces. Goes to see why. And even is right here to back him up. 
right over in the office area. Oh man, what a shot. These guys are just kind of insane. Usually the first bullet headshot works the best with rifles. The connecting shots always much harder. And now bomb still needs to be retrieved. Do see even there to make sure safeguard it. Uh, and there we go. The wolf says thank you for the snack. We'll be happy <laughs> to take that one. And now it's just Goken. That's a kill. That's a good start, but mm -hmm. In of enough, not quite there yet. Mm -hmm. Great reaction time right into his crosshair. But he has to get three more. One from the GR base room. <laughs> and also BL base. But no! it also on the first. As well. So I'm getting a little bit worried as all games is breaking away. Black Dragons. So like the one. The next round, you can maybe still afford to give up, but to give up two more, and it is again a series of match points last time. That's when they kind of came alive, but it's not enough, and the rush here might be enough. GC2 of Garth, the response from even is good, not quite good enough though. In the way over, Wolf desperately trying to hold on here. Knows the angle there coming in, but he can't do it all alone. Gets hit there by Goken on the side. Now it's a 1v2. We do have Jiawe in position. Knows the bomb is planted. But again, 1v2. Let's see how it is going to go. Nope, this time it will be a headshot over to Viana as they will keep it close. As they certainly have to. They were, all gamers were about to run away, get closer to that magical number 10. And Black Dragons now pushing really far. They want to be aggressive. But this time, holding on just a little bit after a couple of rounds. Knowing their position has been 1A one, one top, 1A passage. like they catch all games of God. Not quite ready. Now, are we trying to make the magic happen? takes him down. Very big headshot there. Now all of a sudden he gets to Wolf. Finds the kill. Pivotal round here for all game is going up five to eight. But them only two wins away or two wins away from getting the 2-0. And this is a group in which a lot can happen. Getting that win over mm -hmm. the Black Dragons will be huge. It's only 2v4 into 2v1. Vienna's left alone and C4 is actually on top. It will take some courage to actually jump up there alone. As ZY Wolf covering both angle next to the stairs. Not likely to see the passage. <laughs> Perfectly played. Just covering the escape route, and then the other guy comes in swiftly the second he is spotted. Eight to five. You do see that all gamers once again extremely dominant here on the global risk side. A scary sight indeed. As Black Dragons, they have had. You know, one round of success on the rush. Hooray. But now, immediately, their rush gets stifled out in the next round. So it's, again, you're kind of lost, what we do. As this time it will be another rush, though. Adrian is going to get that headshot onto Wolf, at least, to start us off. Entry headshot through the smoke. Nicely done there. So has to work their way in and out. A quarter still in control by Goken has been scoping all the way into A long. But doesn't get spotted up by the rest of the AG member rotating from office into yard. So they have a real good idea that this is going to be an A attack soon enough. Get as much done as he can. Not actually picking up anyone. Still there, but it's a little promising here. I so say that another kill gets picked up. Two versus three. No plan yet inside. So he makes his way up, but will get spotted there. Action picking up a couple of crucial kills. Black Dragons keep themselves alive in this game. The interesting position that time around. Black Dragons, you know, getting the aggressive shot shows that Adrian is able to get these entry frags as he usually does, even against these AG players. And then they make a really nice rotation onto that A site. And it was just a little bit too much for all gamers to handle. So Black Dragons, you know, bit by bit, they're finding little things that are working. Mm -hmm. and They're going to go back to it. 
Black Dragons, they don't have much information about the office side, but they don't need it because they are breaking the enemy. Not losing too many at their entrance. And as I say that, I'm going to go down. So you can still go control with Zhao Wei on top of A. You'd imagine at some point it should stop working. They're just running in with five. Very big way that jump to the health bar. Smoke Black Dragons. And if that wasn't enough, even comes up huge again. And picks up multiple kills. CQ as well with a double. Nice headshot by Diana. That is But you get flanked. You get taken down. And that is going to be three match points here mm -hmm. for all gamers. If Vienna was looking for anyone coming around the quarters, but instead all gamer focused all of their firepower through a passage. So could not really deliver the defense back into that A site. Match point for all gamers to put them on top of group A. This is going to be rough. I mean, really similar situation to what we saw on the side of Compound, where they were down. It was like 9-5, 9-4, and they were slowly trying to come back, but it wasn't quite enough. So definitely could be another rough comeback here for Black Dragons to give it a try. Really like the spread from all gamers. They're getting a lot of information right now. Although he is not quite able to land those shots. Another entry frag coming in from the side of Adrian, but Jawe immediately able to strike back as Gokin will put them ahead. Oh, and also DY trying to get off his side, went down near the same time. And his only ZQ, only in quarters, still has to travel all the way into the connector and into the B site. So, so much time for Black Dragon to position themselves in the best spot possible. Not looking great here, of course. Not the end of the world, all gamers still have a couple of opportunities, but for Black Dragons, every round matters, and this is a really big one. As he gets spotted, and now, surely with his position known, he'll be able to deny him any form of isolation. There he goes. Dominating round from Black Dragons to keep himself in this series. You know, at worst, even if Black Dragons aren't able to come back, which, you know, it's definitely possible that they do. I mean, they got one, now they're within two. They're proving that they can stay with all gamers, and that should give them a lot of confidence, at least, you know, going into semis where they might go up against Baisha Gaming, especially if they get out of the group in second place. Baisha already looking uh, set for that first place spot in Group B. It, uh, it should give them the confidence. Black Dragons are an awesome team. Mm -hmm. and they have competed at this level before. And it's not over yet. They have caught yeah. any other team matching their round number to nine and forcing them into extra round, even into golden. It happened in our first match yesterday. Black Dragons taking control back towards the center passage. We have Adrian as the entry into the B bottom. Just checked if anyone was looking at that angle, even Potentially a sniper. But all gamers also feeling the tension right now, all the way back into the normal position. Not even peeking, only even trying to sneak into the connector. Oh, that's big. Gokin on the And look at that flank. The wolf sets them up and he's knocking them down. Both of them getting multiple kills. Now it's just Adrian on his own. That's not going to happen. Will get blown up, and all gamers with a dominant 2-0 victory here over one of the strongest teams we've seen thus far in 2021 in Black Dragons. Yes, those types of sneak in did not happen too many times, and Black Dragons took so much time when he was peeked out. They were getting ready for a flash into a side. Worst timing possible there. And this win for all gamers is huge. Basically puts them on.